Hey guys, welcome back to some more No Man's Sky and part 6 of Joe's journey to the center of the universe. Now, before we get into the episode today, uh, I just want to say something. Um, I mean, No Man's Sky hasn't gone down on the channel as well as I had hoped. Um, at time of recording, there's, there's only 40 odd views on part 1, which really isn't great. Um, and... You know, last couple of episodes, not a lot of likes, not a lot of comments. So, you know, if if you guys want to see this continued on the channel, make sure you let it known down in the comment section below by leaving a like, because otherwise, I don't know if you want to watch it, um, or you know, or, or anything. I mean, this is a, a game that I have to put a lot of time into, and I'm I'm quite happy to to just play it without recording. Um, you know, if, if you guys don't want to see it, so let us know in the comments uh, what you think, and, um, and we'll work from there. So, uh, since the last episode, I have uh, explored this little place here. Uh, it wasn't very interesting, to be honest with you. And we also explored that planet over there, and I have called it Butopia because it is a truly beautiful planet. And, yeah, um,. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I spent about two hours on that planet just exploring, discovering new animals, and um, it was really, really fun. And that's what I think so good about No Man's Sky just the, the discovery that, or discoveries that you can make. Well, here we go. We're heading in. Uh, we're gonna. Hopefully get to this manufacturing facility and move on with the story a bit. Um, use the boost a little bit more until we're right on top of it. Around about now. And then take the descent into the planet and here we go. And wow, look at this. Looks rather barren. Looks quite similar to the uh, world we actually started on with all the sort of rock formations like that. Um, I'm being an idiot here. We need to land. Land just about here. Um, and that'll be good. So there we go. It's a tempered weather system, standard sentinels, and barren everything else. Does seem a very barren place, actually. Um, oh, what's all that? I thought maybe there would be some gold up there, but it doesn't look like it. Well, that planet looks interesting, and it's very, very close as well, so we'll be heading to that one um, at some point, probably off camera. But uh, install bold caster in multi tool to break through the reinforced doors. Well, we've already got. Um, a grenade, so there we go, we're through and we're in. So, here we go. Somewhere below my feet, I hear the endless churn of automated machinery performing unknown tasks for unknown masters. A screen flickers into life and let us stamp their, themselves across it. Nada, nada, escape, Atlas, find us, nada, nada. And then again, uh, sorry, and then a formula is displayed how to make my own antimatter. Oh, now that'll be useful. With this knowledge, I can create warp cells, the final puzzle piece. I can now travel anywhere, please, or should I follow Al Atlas? I don't know what the rest of that said. But we need some electron vapor and uh, iridium and stuff. So, um, how do we make said... Uh, electron vapor so we need suspension fluid which we can make just a bit of carbon so we've got that now and we also need a little bit more plutonium so uh, there should be enough in, in here actually thinking about it oh one shy is there any more there we go first time I've actually ran out of plutonium on the fly so that's quite interesting. 
but we're going to get absolutely loads here. Uh, there we go. And a hundred of them. So let's craft our uh, electron vapor. And here we go. And we should have enough for the antimatter. Oh, we need some heridium. I thought we had some. I'm assuming we're out of range of the starship. Yeah. So that's why we can't quite make it. It's in our starship inventory. So let's move along. The planes of Isako, something like that. Um, <clears throat> transfer that over. Oops. And then go back into this and make our own antimatter. And there we go. And now we need to create a warp cell like that. Um, and then we can charge this with the warp cell. And we're all ready to leave this planet now. Um, doesn't seem to be much else here. I will go and unlock that waypoint though. Um, and there's something over there. That's where you can spawn your ship, I think. I, I worked that out in the off camera times. So there we go. Uh, and we'll just upload our knowledge of these places. And there we go. And uh, as you can see, we're rolling in the money now. 500,000 units almost. So, doing very, very well. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys when I'm just about ready to uh, warp to another star system. So, I'll see you guys then. Right, guys, I think we're just about ready to uh, warp somewhere else. So, we've explored this uh, whole system. I called it the Artex system. Um, I'm, s I'm not entirely sure where our starting position was. Uh... Oh, maybe, maybe it's back here, is it? Perhaps. Um, along this path. I'm really not sure. Um, but maybe not. But uh, <clears throat> that's free exploration mode. We don't want that. We want the path towards the galactic core. And uh, looking at this, that's 173. That is 173,238. What one's that again? 173,250. So we need this number to go down. That one's too far to jump, apparently. So we are headed towards this solar system. Uh, three planets, one moon. And yeah, we might as well just go now. So here we go. We might as well do the next objective as well. And then I'll do some exploring uh, on my own of the rest of this uh, system, star system. But um, yeah, do let us know if you want this series to continue. It would be a shame if it didn't, but you know, if the interest isn't there, then you know, there's. Not really much point in putting in all the effort to make the videos. Uh, I've got plenty of other series on the channel and F1 2016 coming out on Friday will be the main one on this channel. And here we go. Uh, and it's a very beautiful sort of surrounding. We've got some of these as well. Um, <clears throat> Alien monolith. And the Atlas says find us, hear us. So we'll head towards that. That looks a very interesting planet. Uh, and there's one in the background there as well. And there's apparently a moon in this star system. So I wonder where that is, if anywhere. We can't see one currently. But uh, as we head towards this one, hopefully uh, it'll emerge. Or maybe this is the moon, actually. It's very, very small, so 
this is perhaps the one moon uh, to this planet and look how green it is so we're heading towards this monolith to see what Atlas is Uga Watch KD50 that's quite a cool name so we'll keep that the same uh, just dip out into the atmosphere once again because it's a, a much quicker mode of transport outside there's another uh, planet slash moon slash I don't know um, oh, we need to get out of this atmosphere there we go now we should be right above it we've actually gone past so <laughs> sorry about this guys there we go we're in so let's see what this monolith is all about the atmosphere we go and look how beautiful this place is very nice indeed let's hope it's not toxic rain poisonous dust so yeah another poisonous planet we've found which is just wonderful but I think it's gonna slowly kill us rather than Ah, we're in the Viking uh, sort of district now, which is really cool. Uh, we can analyse these plants, but I'll probably do that off camera. Uh, no, man. Where's the where's the monolith thing? Aha, there we go. So let's interact and see what it says. The monolith stands silent on the planet's surface. It does not belong here. Neither do I. This is a shimmer. And then the vision of a red orb returns, the Atlas. It speaks to me again. Again I feel a half elation, half terror that I have met my creator. The Atlas offers me guidance, purpose, meaning. Significance in uh, an uncaring a galaxy. All I must do is follow its path and its orders. I believe the Atlas's promise. I see lines of code, strings of numbers, then a bizarre structure. I feel sure conviction that this great power awaits me. The red orb disappears and I am left with a path to follow. So we're getting a warp cell from that, which is cool. Um, we have to ascend to the stars now. But um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll probably do that in the next episode. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like down below if you did. Leave a comment if you want this series to continue. And I'll be basing uh, my decision on that so thank you very very much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye